child Shelley grew up in must have seemed so odd to her mother, who told me a story I think she really wanted to be telling Shelley. You know, Jack, there's a little story I want to relate to you. There was a little boy who uh, lived in the same building we did. He was about a year old when his mother moved into the ghetto. He had no father, and his mother happened to have been blind. Uh, he was acting as her eyes, and at the age of three, he had asked her, what is a choo-choo train? And she tried to explain to him as much as she could that there are such things as trains. Then he asked her, how big is the world? And she said to him, the world is only as big as one side of the ghetto to the other side of the ghetto. This child grew up always hungry, always cold, not knowing what an egg is, or not even knowing that there was a world outside the ghetto. And when the day finally came, when the Germans took us out of the ghetto, he was on the train with us. He cried all along, saying that he doesn't like the choo-choo, because the choo-choo was very cold and very crowded, and he was hungry. He cried for food. And my dad took the last piece of bread that he had, and he gave to this little boy. And the mother said, don't do that, because you'll be hungry afterwards. And I think that my father knew that that child will never live again, because he said, that's all right. Let him once in his lifetime feel what it is to have food, enough to at least be satisfied for the moment. And of course, that was the last day of this child's life, because as we walked into the camp, immediately they took him to the guest chamber. And I often wonder, what was the point of this child's life altogether? He was born at the beginning of the war, lived four years in a ghetto where he knew nothing but hunger and cold. And he died hungry and cold. And as much as I miss my parents who were killed and the rest of my family, I truly suffer because of this little child, because there were many children I know, but I was close to that little boy. And I can only I, I can't explain it even to my own children or to myself how I feel about this little. Do you look at that? Do you see that boy when you look at Shelley? Always. When I looked at my children, I always saw that little boy. When my children cried because they got hurt or because they didn't get what they wanted, I I, I didn't hear or see my children. I saw that little boy.